One wouldn't be in trouble if they don't ask for it. Shui Anxiang and his spouse cannot defeat Shui Fugui after his transformation. They even dared to threaten an unarmed man. Just now, Shui Anxiang shamelessly used his son's death to blackmail Shui Fugui. Shui Anxiang's face twisted fiercely. Whatever I say is the truth. Today, if you don't leave behind the Demon Emperor's shield as compensation for my son's death, I will make sure to dismember you a thousand times over. Zi Yusin also gritted her teeth. In addition, you must transfer the trade association to us as compensation for the pain of my grandson losing his father. Xiao Tian standing nearby was already completely dumbfounded. He was astounded. How could there be such shameless people in this world? Shui Fugue also shook his head. Really leaves one speechless. Before, I thought you were just shameless. But now it seems. Eh, the Shui family. The two soared into the air. It seems I need to quickly cleanse the Shui family once again. Those who are as filthy as you should be directly annihilated. The Shui family rewritten from here on. From now on, I am the new ancestor of the Shui family. Shui Anxiang furiously pointing at Shui Fugue. Do you know what you're saying? This is utter blast me, daring to usurp the position of the ancestor. Hearing this, Shui Fugui was also unceremonious, a fiery aura surrounding him. Hand over the position of the ancestor obediently, or else, I'm afraid you, pampered and spoiled, will have to suffer a bit. Shui Anxiang, somewhat surprised. You wanna fight me? Ignoring Shui Anxiang's words, Shui Fugui turned to look at Xiao Tian. Little Xiao, step back a bit. Leave this all to me. Xiao Tian nodded, stepping back a little. Grandpa, be careful. Just let loose in battle. Just then, Shui Anxiang had already unleashed his spiritual energy, along sword appearing in his hand. Last time I let you go, this time I'll definitely kill you. Shui Fugui quickly raised his hand to defend. Xiao Tian, watching from the side, marveled, truly worthy of being the god of wealth. That defensive artifact looks expensive. At the same time, Zi Yusin suddenly appeared behind Shui Fugui, swinging her sword to strike. A barrier immediately appeared beside Shui Fugui. Zi Yusin's sword attack missed its mark. Seeing this, Shui Anxian gritted his teeth, with my wife and me here. I want to see how much you have left of your defensive artifacts. Saying so, the two simultaneously Simultaneously swung their swords. Let's see if your defense is stronger, or our attack is stronger. Shui Fugui could only raise his hand again to defend, and in an instant, an explosion sound swept through, until the dust slowly dissipated. A figure emerged faintly visible. Shui Fugui had already shed his body fat, his muscles bursting forth. Brother, sister-in-law, time to settle the debt. With a grand wave of his hand, Shui Anxiang and Zi Yusin were both stunned. Is this Shui Fugui? Following that, the two once again soared into the air, swords pointing forward, attacking Shui Fugui. Take this. At this moment, both were relentless, releasing their strongest attacks. But the next second, Shui Fugui just stood there, letting these attacks hit him, staring unflinchingly ahead. Seeing this, Shui Anxiang quickly moved forward with a sword. Shui Fugui, meet your demise. Simultaneously, Zi Yusin also appeared above Shui Fugui's head. Xiao Tian watched all this and shook his head slightly. These attacks look impressive. The special effects are cool, but the strength is bluffing. At this moment, Shui Fugui raised both hands, slamming them towards the two. I'm no longer the Shui Fugui of the past. No longer the trash in your mouths. The next second, Shui Anxiang was directly smashed and spat out a mouthful of blood. Falling to the ground, Shui Fugui clenched his fists, smiling and slowly walked forward. Shui Anxiang's heart was nothing but shock. Is this my utterly useless pig of a brother? Why has the style completely changed? Just then, Zi Yusin's voice suddenly came. Let go of my husband. Hearing this, Shui Fugui turned his head to look. Xiao Tian was actually being held hostage by a woman. Zi Yusin still shouting, let him go, or else. This kid is done for. Zi Yusin urgently shouted shouted, husband, retreat. Hearing this, Shui Anxiang nearby quickly burst forth in speed, following his wife into the stone door. Shui Anxiang and Zi Yusin, the couple, retreating into the vortex with Xiao Tian. Their figures instantly vanished from Shui Fugui's sight. You two are really interesting. Why take little Xiao with you? This isn't escaping, but seeking death. At the same time, Xiao Tian only felt everything spinning around him. In a blink of an eye, he had already arrived in a completely new world. The surrounding scenery also appeared somewhat unfamiliar. Xiao Tian looked around, pondering. Grandpa also also has a Shui family ancestor's cave heaven. He got so fat, could it be from eating things inside here? Shui Anxiang, seething with anger, his tone filled with rage. Damn it, that fat pig, how did he suddenly become so strong? Zi Yusin's face was gloomy, looking a bit displeased. Indeed, it's beyond expectations. This fat pig must have had some incredible encounter, gaining such extraordinary power. What do we do next? Shui Anxiang sighed, his hand trembling slightly. Do we really need to use that? Once we use it, we lose the qualification to compete for the family head. Zi Yusin bit her lip. If it's not necessary, don't use it. Wasting your qualification to compete as the family head on this fat pig is not worth it at all. For now, the plan is to find a way to break through and gain control of this cave heaven. As Zi Yusin said this, she looked towards Xiao Tian. Moreover, we have this person in our hands. Where is he? On a closer look, they discovered that Xiao Tian had already reached the stone door's entrance. Shui Anxiang also saw the situation, sneering mockingly. Idiot, do you think you can get out? Once you enter the Shui family ancestral land, the master recognition test automatically starts. You can't exit 
makes it halfway before the test ends. Suddenly, Xiao Tian's hands swiftly pierced forward, and with his hands gently pulling to both sides, the entrance space barrier of the cave heaven was forcibly torn open. On the other side, Xue Fugue, who was practicing boxing, was revealed. Xiao Tian waved his hand towards the outside. Grandpa, come in. Xue Fugue, hearing the voice, turned his head and immediately smiled, ceasing his boxing and walking into the cave heaven. Brother, sister-in-law, we meet again. Xue Anxiang and Zi Yusin were stunned, but what took their breath away even more was Xiao Tian, who stood at the doorway, reaching out his hand to forcibly reassemble the torn space rift. What kind of monster did my wife just kidnap? This is the cave heaven doorway built by our ancestor, the great virtue emperor, tearing it open with bare hands. What the hell? The next moment, Zi Yusin burst out shouting, her words filled with panic. Use it. Hurry up and use it. Damn it. Xue Anxiang, hearing his wife scream, also roared loudly. My qualification to compete for the family head is gone. As Xue Anxiang said this, he suddenly squeezed hard. The next second, a terrifyingly oppressive wave instantly burst forth at the moment the jade talisman was crushed, spreading throughout the entire ancestral cave heaven of the Xue family. The incarnation of the old ancestor is here. You all must die. Xiao Tian looked up at the Xue family's old ancestor above, inquiring in his mind to the system puppy, can you locate it? Respected master, if there is enough time for analysis, it should be possible. But from this distance, it might be difficult to pinpoint the exact area. I'll bring it closer for a detailed analysis. Saying so, Xiao Tian immediately soared out. The floating old ancestor of the Xue family also slightly frowned and lightly raised his hand, sweeping towards Xiao Tian like swatting a fly. With just a gentle movement of his hand, the entire cave heaven trembled slightly. That palm hit Xiao Tian right on, and then, the incarnation of the Xue family's ancestor's arm burst apart. Xiao Tian, angered, looked at the Xue family's ancestor. Don't hit me. What will you do if you kill yourself? Xiao Tian swiftly moved behind the old ancestor, who instantly broke into a cold sweat. How is this possible? The man's voice, like the whisper of a demon, resonated in his ear. Heh, unless I let you die. Don't even think about laying a hand on me. Suddenly, half of the Xue family ancestor's face was already pressed hard into the ground by Xiao Tian, the entire body pinned down, unable to move. The Xue family's ancestor's eyes bulged with rage. How dare you? I am the patriarch of the Xue family. This is just a wisp of my soul. You better be sensible. Let me go, or else, when my true body arrives, I'll pulverize you to dust and ashes. Seeing this, Xiao Tian slapped the ancestor's incarnation on the buttocks. You old thing, be honest. What are you moving for? The Xue family's ancestor could only howl in agony. Ah, the incarnation of the Xue family's ancestor screamed miserably, trying to struggle. I can't take it. I really can't take it. But Xiao Tian, sitting on him, was like a mountain, making it impossible for him to move even an inch. What a disgrace. He had dominated the Ring Mountain realm for countless years, a distinguished guest in many realm worlds, now utterly humiliated by a young successor, unable to resist. You brat, let me out quickly. I might consider sparing your life. Seeing this, Xiao Tian pressed his head into the ground. Calm down, will you? Don't make me kill your descendants right in front of you. Seeing the Xue family ancestor temporarily quiet, Xiao Tian patted his hands. Wouldn't it have been better to be like this from the start? Puppy then began to analyze the true location of the Xue family's old ancestor. Let me know once you've analyzed it. After speaking with the system puppy, Xiao Tian adjusted his sitting posture, then placed one foot on the back of the Xue family ancestor's head. When he looked up again, he noticed Xue Fugue, as well as Xue Anxiang and Zi Yusin on the opposite side, petrified, staring at him. Grandpa, quick, while the Xue family's old ancestor ancestor is unconscious. You go up, settle your grudges, settle your grievances. Hearing this, Xue Anxiang and Zi Yusin trembled. Third brother, let's talk nicely. Let's each take a step back. I'll pretend I never saw you. Won't put a slave mark on you. Let me go, okay? Hearing the other party's words, Xue Fugui was furiously enraged. His pupils seemed to flicker with scarlet light. Shut up. How dare you mention the slave mark? Let you go? You deserve to die. Xue Fugui roared and charged forward explosively, like a wild beast in rage. Xue Anxiang exclaimed, his spiritual energy quickly transformed forming into frost and ice crystals, forming an ice wall in front. Third brother, calm down. Your brother loves you. Believe me. Hearing this, Xue Fugui struck out with a palm. Prove it with your life then. Xue Fugui charged out fiercely, punching directly onto Xue Anxiang's head. This punch is for my child and those brothers and sisters you've killed. After Xue Anxiang stopped breathing, Xue Fugui turned his gaze towards Zi Yusin. You wicked woman. It's your turn. In panic, Zi Yusin quickly conjured a whirlwind around her, trying to prevent Xue Fugui from getting close. But unfortunately, her conjured wind apart from cooling Xue Fugue off a bit, was completely ineffective. Facing the towering and fierce Xue Fugue, Zi Yusin collapsed to the ground. Don't come over here. But in the next second, Xue Fugue grabbed Zi Yusin by the neck, lifting her up. A family should be together, understand? With a bang, Xue Fugue punched hard into Zi Yusin's abdomen. Xue Fugue's face was ice cold. Over the past years, my wife Lu Gui Xiang, thank you for your care. Your husband and nephews have already gone ahead. You should hurry up and join them, so you won't be lonely on the road to the underworld. Soon after, looking at the two people at his feet, Xue Fugui took a deep breath.
death. After so many years, I finally have the power to avenge myself. Then trembling, Shue family's old ancestor, one day, I will kill you myself. The Shue family's old ancestor, hearing this, said, hurry up and kill me. Let me return to my main body. I can't stand it here for another moment. Xiao Tian shouted at him, Grandpa, seeing Xiao Tian call him again, Shue Fugui quickly dressed, then came to Xiao Tian's side. Are you tired of pressing down on this old thing? Let Grandpa give you a massage. Xiao Tian turned his head. This old guy is just a wisp of soul. After killing him, he'll return to his main body, and the main body will have corresponding memories, which is troublesome. This means we can't kill him, but keeping him is also useless. Grandpa, what should we do? Shue Fugui pondered for a moment. Not only can we not kill him, but we also have to worry about him committing suicide. Suddenly Xiao Tian had an idea. What if we imprison him in the Sea of Consciousness? Shue Fugui immediately refused. No, you can't. The Sea of Consciousness is the weakest part of the human body. If you rashly imprison another soul there, there's a risk of being devoured. As soon as he finished speaking, Xiao Tian's hand emitted a dazzling light. I'll try first. In no time, the Shue family's old ancestor was already taken into Xiao Tian's Sea of Consciousness by him. Shue Fugui was stunned, then began to cry, holding his head. It's over. If something happens to you, how can I explain it to my granddaughter? Xiao Tian was unconcerned. Grandpa, are you so sure I'll definitely be in trouble? Hearing this, Shue Fugui stopped crying, just staring blankly at Xiao Tian. Meanwhile, inside Xiao Tian's Sea of Consciousness, the Shue family's old ancestor was laughing crazily. Ha ha ha. It's just a brainless body cultivator, and he dares to put me in his Sea of Consciousness. Once I find his soul and body, I'll swallow him up to avenge my previous humiliation. Ha ha ha. What are you laughing at? The gentle female voice from behind made the incarnation of the Shue family's old ancestor freeze in place. He hurriedly turned around, only to see a long-haired woman in unfamiliar attire, staring at him expressionlessly. But what truly made Shue Tian stand still was the 3,000 stars orbiting behind the long-haired woman. To know, his main body only had 1,600 stars, yet this person possessed 3,000 stars. No wonder that kid put me into his sea of consciousness. He really wasn't afraid I'd devour him. Suddenly, Puppy slightly raised her hand, directly immobilizing the Shue family's old ancestor in place. The Shue family's old ancestor tried to activate his energy center to self-destruct. Little girl, let me go quickly, or I'll perish with you. Puppy stared at the Shue family's old ancestor. You actually want to self-destruct in the master's sea of consciousness. Saying this, Puppy shouted towards Xiao Tian. Master, I need your help. You just need to stand beside. Okay. Xiao Tian's muffled voice came from behind. Shui Tian, hearing the woman's words, was initially startled, then saw, in the distant space of the sea of consciousness, a figure approaching. Gradually getting closer, Shui Tian clearly saw. It was Xiao Tian's soul. But as the other party got closer, Shui Tian's incarnation began to tremble slightly. His previously agitated willpower also gradually calmed down, as if a powerful, irresistible force was pressing down on him. This, this. Shui Tian looked at Xiao Tian's soul in front of him, trembling with fear, kneeled directly on the ground. This scene left Xiao Tian somewhat stunned. So polite, kneeling when seeing someone, Shui Tian couldn't open his eyes. So bright, can't see the face clearly. Xiao Tian's soul walked to Puppy's side, looking at Shui Tian kneeling on the ground, frowned. What's wrong with him? Nothing, master. He's just scared by you. I just have to stay here, right? Xiao Tian's soul sat down cross-legged, looking at the kneeling incarnation of Shui Tian in front, yawned, leaned back, and the long-haired woman knelt down, placing Xiao Tian's head on her thigh, looking up and coming over. From now on, just stay here obediently. Don't think about resisting. Shui Tian bit his teeth. His entire body was firmly suppressed, unable to move at all. Why? What's the origin of this person? Shui Tian roared internally, in disbelief, frightening physical strength aside. His soul's starlight was like an endless starry sky. Unbelievable in this world. Clearly meant they had found the location of his main body, sealing him to avoid startling the snake. His main body, in peril, outside. Shui Fugui still looked worriedly at Xiao Tian in front of him. Why did you suddenly say you wanted to go into the sea of consciousness? Could something unexpected happen? When Xiao Tian wakes up, he must test him to see if he was devoured by the old undying ancestor of the Shue family. Just then, a cloud suddenly appeared and a voice emanated from it. Someone is here for the assessment again so soon? How strange. On Shue Fugui's side, he bowed and began, esteemed spirit of the cave heaven, the person who came for the assessment earlier. Before he could finish, the cloud suddenly spun. Wait, I smell the scent of death. With that thought, the cloud rushed outside. Moments later, the cloud saw Shue Anxiang and Zi Yusin lying on the ground and exploded in fury. Who is it? Who killed the people who came for the test while I was asleep? Shue Fugui also hurried over. I'm truly sorry, spirit of the cave heaven, but they deserve to die. I don't think it's inappropriate. Hearing this, the cloud shouted at Shue Fugui. How dare you kill in my domain? You have lost your qualification for the test. Shue Fugui wanted to say something, but the cloud released a tornado. Stop your babbling, get out. Seeing this, Shue Fugui thought to himself, it's over. I've angered the spirit of the cave heaven. Once thrown out, there's no chance to come back for the test and bind to this ancestral land. Just then, Xiao Tian suddenly appeared in front of Shue Fugui, who gave you permission to bully my grandfather. Seeing him, Shue 
Shua Fugue immediately asked Xiao Tian, Do you still remember the two words in the middle of your supreme benevolent deity title? Xiao Tian, somewhat helplessly, replied, Grandfather, at this moment, you really don't need to ask me such an embarrassing question. It's better kept to ourselves rather than publicized. Sorry, I was nervous. The cloud, listening to their conversation but being ignored, became furious. Ah, stupid humans, dare to ignore me. Take this. With that, the cloud transformed into a hammer and attacked them. Shua Fugue quickly shielded Xiao Tian. Little Xiao, be careful. The next second, Xiao Tian caught the hammer with his bare hands, and it turned into a baby. Grandfather, is this the spirit of the cave heaven? Is it weaned yet? As soon as he finished speaking, the bratty child shot an electric shock at Xiao Tian. Fine then, you won't listen to my grandfather and insist on expelling him, and now you attack me when I'm trying to calm you down? Xiao Tian was furious and asked his puppy, Puppy, help me analyze. What species is this? If I hit it directly, will it die? Master, this is the spirit of the cave heaven. As long as the cave heaven exists, it will be immortal, the puppy replied. Hearing this, Xiao Tian immediately raised his arm and slapped the bratty child's bottom. What an uneducated child. The bratty child angrily shouted at the man. I won't give you the test. If you can, kill me. Xiao Tian chuckled. Ha, you think I don't know? As long as this cave realm remains intact, you are immortal and indestructible. The bear child glared at Xiao Tian. If you have the ability, catch me. As soon as the words fell, the bear child transformed into a cloud and left. Xiao Tian, extremely angry, shouted, You dare run? My little temper. The spirit of the cave realm stuck out its tongue, mocking Xiao Tian and Shua Fugue, trying to infuriate them. Come on in if you dare, bear child. Three days without a beating will lead to mischief on the roof. Xiao Tian spoke fiercely, approaching forcefully. Just as Xiao Tian was about to forcefully approach, the barrier formation suddenly converged, turning into the phantom of an old man with a hoe, smiling. One of the four emperors under the human emperor. Great Virtue Emperor. The phantom of Great Virtue Emperor appeared, slightly raising his hand. Guests, please be at ease and accept the test. Do not be so irritable. This cave realm spirit breaks the rules first, and you still want others to follow them? Xiao Tian approached, suddenly punching out, directly causing the phantom of Great Virtue Emperor's head to burst, and the entire cave realm space crazily shook, cracks spreading everywhere. Xiao Tian, with a grim face, approached the now dumbfounded cloud baby. Suddenly, Xiao Tian had a rope in his hand. It seems this cave realm spirit has a problem with its thoughts. The methods left by Great Virtue Emperor are not enough, letting you grow crooked, since Great Virtue Emperor didn't do enough. Then as his junior, I'll help him properly educate you, you naughty child. The cave realm spirit, seeing Xiao Tian approaching step by step, in its eyes, the other party was like a devil. Monster, the cave realm spirit was so scared it turned to run, but could its speed be faster than Xiao Tian? Almost the instant it turned around, it was already grabbed by Xiao Tian, still daring to run, not running anymore, huh? Speak up, Shue Fugue, watching from a distance, heard the scream. This is the easiest time I've ever subdued the cave realm of the Shua family ancestor. Little Zhao's fighting power is ridiculously strong. He even shattered the defense barrier personally made by Great Virtue Emperor. Suddenly, Shua Fugue seemed to remember something. He turned and walked towards a room, and moments later, Shua Fugue was reading a hundred ways to cultivate herbs. As expected of Great Virtue Emperor, a pharmacist by birth, the book's content is all about cultivating herbs. This might interest Little Xiao. Maybe he'll find it interesting. Just then, the cave realm spirit, bound all over, was thrown in, crying and shouting, I was wrong, I was wrong, I never thought those people were so evil, you suffered so much before, it's right for you to kill those people, I was ignorant and rude just now, please forgive me, I beg you, at this moment, Xiao Tian suddenly shouted, be more sincere in your attitude, crying and wailing, is that called admitting your mistake, seeing Xiao Tian approaching, little Xiao, this kid, has got something, then, Shua Fugui waved his hand, alright, I forgive you, upon hearing this, Xiao Tian waved his hand, and the ropes on the cave realm spirit disappeared, you should thank my grandpa for his kindness, or else you'd be in trouble. Hearing this, the spirit immediately hugged Shua Fugue's leg. Grandpa Shua, I really know I was wrong. Wow, thank you for forgiving me. Then, Shua Fugue, holding a book, waved at Xiao Tian. Little Xiao, come here for a second. There are some things here that you might be interested in. These are methods for raising livestock. You should like them. They can be used for the livestock on Green Flame Mountain. These are ways to build temporary farming tools. Xiao Tian didn't say a word, just silently listening to Shua Fugue babbling at him, chattering away. So this is what nagging feels like. Ha, huh, not bad. After after a while, Shua Fugue turned into a monk. This one is for Zi Ruan. My precious granddaughter will need it. This one is for little Xiao. When the livestock are well raised, I can also enjoy some benefits from it. This one is for my wife. This one. From then on, Xiao Tian no longer thought that nagging was good. It's truly a headache. At that moment, Xiao Tian was roused by Shua Fugue. Little Xiao, wake up. I've finished tidying up here. Let's go outside and see what else we can take. Xiao Tian turned her head, only to see the entire room spotlessly clean. Grandpa, have you just ransacked the great virtue emperor? cave heaven? Shua Fugui chuckled. How can you call it ransacking? I'm just preparing gifts for everyone. Let's go. The crops outside can be gathered too. We'll have Prime Minister Zhong cook us something delicious. The kneeling 
concave heaven spirit. Hearing this, clung to Shuafugui's leg, weeping. What a waste of precious treasures. Every plant I've grown is a spiritual plant or medicine. How can you just use them as ordinary crops? This is too much. Yet Xiao Tian looked at him coldly. What? You have a problem with that? The cave heaven spirit quickly changed his tune. Those spiritual plants and medicines are of excellent quality. Turning them into dishes will surely be extraordinarily delicious. It's their honor to be consumed by you. Xiao Tian gave the spirit a thumbs up, acknowledging his realization. The spirit massaged his leg, saying, as long as you're satisfied. Meanwhile, Shue Fugue, observing the cave heaven spirit's bizarre behavior, couldn't help but twitch his brow. Little Xiao, I've subdued five ancestral land cave heavens of the Shue family, but I've never seen any cave heaven spirit like this one. So lively and animated, isn't that strange? Xiao Tian, holding up a cave heaven spirit, explained, the cloud coming empire worships this cave heaven as a sacred place, not knowing it was forged by the great virtue emperor. They worship the cave heaven spirit. These spirits, touched by the mortal world, have developed intelligence and thus appear more lifelike. They also tend to steal food. Shue Fugui appeared puzzled. Steal food? Grandpa, come outside with me and you'll see, Xiao Tian replied. Hearing the conversation between the two, the cave heaven spirit broke out in a cold sweat. Oh no, now that they've found out, am I going to be beaten again? Shortly after, the pair went outside. Xiao Tian pointed to a spot. Grandpa, look there, there are more spiritual herbs. Shue Fugui nodded. Indeed. Suddenly, he told Xiao Tian, little Xiao, you take a nap. I'll pick some and then we'll leave. Soon after, Shue Fugui was busy picking spiritual medicines while Xiao Tian lay down to sleep. The cave heaven spirit fanned Xiao Tian, asking, is this wind strength all right, sir? Xiao Tian nodded, not bad. This fruit also tastes good. This great virtue emperor really has some skills in planting. I should apologize to him when I see him. After all, I did explode his avatar with a punch, which was a disrespectful. The cave heaven spirit quickly offered a flattering smile. Sir, the one who did wrong was me. It has nothing to do with you. I should be the one to apologize to the great virtue emperor. Hearing this, Xiao Tian patted his head. Good, you are teachable. After some time, seeing Shue Fugui almost stripping the place of its spiritual medicines, Xiao Tian stood up and said, Grandpa, it's time for us to leave. Shue Fugui also waved his hand. All right. The grandfather and granddaughter duo left the cave heaven treasure land. Stepping through the portal, they returned to the summit of Misty Snow Mountain. The cave heaven spirit followed them. Just then, the stone doors of the ancestral cave heaven shattered, revealing a spatial layer behind. A hoe, glowing with spiritual energy, floated out from it. Shue Fugui quickly pulled Xiao Tian. Little Xiao, get out of the way. But Xiao Tian stood still, staring coldly ahead. You made me wait just to attack me? The person in front of him turned out to be a kind-looking old man. Xiao Tian turned to Shue Fugui. Grandpa, when you were collecting the cave heaven blessed land, did you ever encounter an avatar of the great virtue emperor? Shue Fugui shook his head. I've never seen anything like this before. Seeing this, Xiao Tian poked the old man's cheek. This avatar feels much stronger than the one I broke earlier. It's even elastic. Shue Fugui hastily tried to stop him. Little Xiao, something is not right, come back here. Just then, the old man suddenly spoke. Young man, punch earlier was quite impressive. Startled, Xiao Tian exclaimed, what the heck? And then threw a punch that exploded the old man's head. In the next instant, the figure of the old man transformed into mist. Just then, the host suddenly spoke. Youngsters, step aside. I can use the last bit of my will to incarnate one last time. The old man reappeared before them. I'm too old for this. Young man, calm down. If you hit me again, I truly might be gone, he said wearily. Xiao Tian, not wanting to be impolite addressed the old man, my apologies for my actions. The old man, however, waved his hand dismissively, it's fine, it's normal for young people to be vigorous. Besides, in light of the merit radiance around you, I'd be willing to be blown up a thousand times by you, haha. <laughs> he even patted Xiao Tian's shoulder. Moreover, the fact that you could destroy my will incarnation makes it worthwhile for me to come down from the upper realms to see what you are capable of. Sorry, elder, for being a bit sensitive earlier. No offense meant, Xiao Tian said apologetically. The elder shook his head, it's alright. As an elder, I should be so petty with the younger generation. He then turned his gaze to the void. However, when I was leaving the cave heaven mystery, I sensed two strange auras. One belongs to a descendant of the human emperor, but the other has no relation to me. Hearing this, Shue Fugui exclaimed in shock, impossible, that's my own brother. He can't be unrelated to you. The elder waved his hand. My bloodline sensing can't be wrong. As he spoke, his figure became more ethereal. As for him not being my descendant, but you are. That's something you need to uncover yourselves. He continued, it seems I can't maintain this form much longer. Remember, Young ones, train well. The meteor flame battlefield of the lower realm is just the beginning. There's a tougher battle waiting for you in the upper realms. With these words, the elder's figure disappeared. Shue Fugue hurriedly reached out, attempting to stop the elder. Ancestor, wait, what do you mean by that? Unfortunately, the figure of the elder had already vanished. At that moment, Xiao Tian let out a sigh. Shue Fugue turned to him, my grandson-in-law. Do you also feel that our world is too insignificant? Xiao Tian shook her head with a sigh. The situation is indeed much more serious than I thought. Shue Fugue echoed. Right, right. Suddenly, Xiao 
Xiao Tian patted Shuefugui's shoulder. Grandpa, it doesn't matter if you're not the biological descendant. After all, you are indeed a descendant of the Great Virtue Emperor. As for the so-called Ring Mountain Realm Shue family, Xiao Tian's face was full of confidence. I will definitely help you uncover the truth behind these secrets. Shuefugui looked confused. Were we discussing the Meteor Flame Battlefield? How did we get back to the Ring Mountain Realm Shue family? After learning that Shuefugui and his brother were not blood-related, Xiao Tian couldn't help but ask. So, Grandpa, are you suggesting that your dad might have been cuckolded? Shuefugui, seeing Xiao Tian's serious expression, wanted to ask earnestly, Kid, are you serious? Shouldn't we be focusing on the so-called war in the upper realms? The fact that our current battlefield is just the beginning? Why are you so interested in my lineage? Does being biologically related really matter that much? After a moment of thought, Shuefugui felt this question was also important, albeit headache-inducing. Then, Xiao Tian suddenly said, Grandpa, now I think the so-called ancestor of the Shue family in the Ring Mountain realm might not actually be a descendant of the Great Virtue Emperor. Instead, it could be you who belong to the true lineage. Shuefugui was struck as if by lightning. The Shue family ancestor, not a Shue. Seeing Shuefugui's reaction, Xiao Tian continued, to find out if my speculation is true, the best way is to go to the Ring Mountain realm and meet the Shue family ancestor. After a moment's contemplation, Xiao Tian added, Grandpa, get into combat mode and start your breathing exercises. You can also cultivate a bit on the way. Hearing this, Shuefugui, who was initially a gentle and kind-looking old man, transformed into a muscular, handsome elder. Prime Minister Zhong told me you fly quite fast. Give me a heads up, will you? Don't worry, Grandpa. I'll go slow, Xiao Tian assured. The next second, an explosive force erupted from within Xiao Tian, enveloping Shuefugui in a force field. As Xiao Tian ascended into the sky, the surrounding space turbulence grew increasingly violent. Shuefugui was somewhat stunned. Where is the limit of my grandson-in-law's physical abilities? However, soon after, Xiao Tian plunged into the void sea thunderstorm. Shuefugui cried out in alarm, Wait, we need to take a detour. That's the void thunder sea ahead. Only those at the 23rd level can barely survive in there. Xiao Tian just smiled. Grandpa, just relax. Shuefugui, feeling the thunder and lightning around him, mused, In all the worlds, there must be few who can watch the inside of the void thunder sea so effortlessly. Suddenly, Xiao Tian's forward speed halted, as if hitting a pause button. Xiao Tian gazed ahead, intrigued. Interesting. Shuefugui also asked, Little Xiao, have you noticed? Something's off about that place. In the void thunder sea, the destructive thunder seemed to reverse its flow, converging towards a central stone island, and its dazzling brilliance vanished. In its place, a terrifyingly luminous thunder knife emerged, thrusting directly at Xiao Tian. With a slight upturn of his lips, Xiao Tian remarked, Interesting. The next second, the collision between the palm and the knife seemed to solidify the surrounding space. Invisible shockwaves swept outwards in all directions. Near the center, the world barriers of the nearby realm worlds rippled like water, violently shaking as the explosion echoed through the area. Shuefugui quickly raised his hand to defend. Child, are you alright? Shuefugui saw Xiao Tian standing and scathed and rushed over in a panic. Seeing Shuefugui's worried expression, Xiao Tian felt a warmth in his heart and explained, I'm fine, just a little injured. Where are you hurt? Shuefugui asked anxiously. Here, Xiao Tian said, lifting his hand to show Shuefugui. It was his right hand, which he had used to collide with the thunder blade. Shuefugui, seeing the nearly healed wound, realized that Xiao Tian's combat capabilities far exceeded his expectations. Your wound is really big. If I had come any later, it would have already healed. Xiao Tian then extended his hand, and with a crackling sound, a knife materialized in his grip. This is a radiant warrior. Although it's much weaker than my dark bright envoys of destiny, it sure looks good. What does radiant warrior mean? Shuefugui asked, curious. Radiant warrior is a colloquial term for weapons that emit light, Xiao Tian explained, and with a swift motion, he swung the knife. A blood-red thunderbolt instantly streaked across the void, forming a terrifying curtain of lightning sweeping forward. Cool, Xiao Tian exclaimed. I didn't expect to find such a stylish weapon on the way. It's okay if it's a bit weaker. The style is what matters. After some thought, Xiao Tian suggested, let's call it the Pathfinder. Pathfinder? Shuefugui found the name unusual. Why this name? Once we reach the Shue family, I will cut down the treacherous old dog Shui Tian, the Shue family ancestor, and send him to the netherworld. This knife will be the very guide leading him on his journey to the netherworld. Meanwhile, within the main city of the Shue family in the Ring Mountain realm, in a courtyard within the city, there was a lake with a flat boat floating on it. On the boat, an elderly man sat casually, engaged in fishing. He was Shue Keichao, the current patriarch of the Shue family, and father of Shue Fugue. Suddenly, someone hurried to the lakeside, bowing respectfully to inform Shue Keichao of urgent news. Despite his stoic demeanor, Shue Keichao inquired indifferently, What is it? If it's not important, don't bother me. Otherwise, go to the punishment hall and prepare to leave the Shue family. The disciple, undeterred by Shue Chiuichao's stern words, reported, Patriarch, the life lamps of the eldest son, Shue Runyu, Shue Liguang, and Lady Z Yusin of the Z family have all been extinguished. Hearing this, Shue Chiuichao's pupils revealed a flicker of emotion, and the fishing rod 
and his hand suddenly shattered. The fish that were previously swimming in midair fell back into the lake. Dead, Shui Keichao stood up, leaving the boat. If you're lying, you won't live to see tonight's moon, he warned, before his figure disappeared in a flash, heading into the void. There, he encountered a person guarding the area. What's the matter? The person asked, frowning at Shui Keichao. With a grave expression, Shui Keichao responded, There's an urgent matter. I need to see the ancestor. The man, still frowning, scrutinized Shui Keichao for a moment before leading the way. As the patriarch of the Shui family, Shui Keichao showed no reaction to the man's unceremonious tone and simply followed him. Meanwhile, in another location, a man was bound tightly with blood-red chains. Below him, several other figures were similarly restrained. Above the formation, an old man with an air of immortality and tranquility sat cross-legged. Ancestor, arriving in front of the blood-colored formation, even Shui Keichao could feel its overwhelming oppressive force. Shui Tian, sitting cross-legged above the formation, slowly opened his eyes, gazing down at Shui Keichao. What brings you here? Shui Anxiang is dead, Shui Keichao stated succinctly. Shui Tian remained silent, his aura emanating the essence of the universal path, as if sensing something. After a moment, he spoke, I sense that Shui Anxiang summoned my will incarnation. Are you certain he is dead? Shui Keichao bowed slightly. Ancestor, I have checked the life lamps of Shui Anxiang, Ziyusin, Shui Runyu, and Shui Liguan. All have been extinguished. We haven't been exposed, have we? Hearing this, Shui Tian's aura surged. Exposed or not, our plan has been in progress for 500 years, and we're only one year away from success. We cannot afford any mistakes at this final stage. My will incarnation is still alive, but I cannot directly control it to return. Shui Keichao, send someone to investigate the details. Shui Keichao nodded. Ancestor, I will handle it. Meanwhile, Xiao Tian, standing in front of an inn, looked bewildered and turned to Shui Fugui. Lu Gui Xiang Commerce Association? Shui Fugui turned to him. Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something wrong with the name? Xiao Tian gave a thumbs up. It's excellent. It really reflects your affection for your wife. Hearing this, Shui Fugui began to recount. Back in the day, if it weren't for your grandmother who, two machetes in hand, fought her way from the street to the alley, paving a path of blood, I wouldn't be here today. Just then, laughter erupted from behind Shui Fugui. Ha ha ha, brother Shui. A man embraced Shui Fugui. I didn't expect to see you back so soon, brother Shui. Shui Fugui, surprised and delighted, responded, Zhou Yuexing, I only asked you to look after the Commerce Association for a bit, and here you are in person. Come on, we're all brothers here. No need for formalities. Xiao Tian, excited, gently stroked Zhou Yuexing's fur, so fluffy, really comfortable. Zhou Yuexing, feeling the touch, asked Shui Fugui, who is this little guy? Ha ah, ha this is my grandson, Xiao Tian. This here is the son of the Sovereign of Mystical Realms, Zhou Yuexing. I once saved his life, and now we're like brothers. Zhou Yuexing scrutinized Xiao Tian. Mm, your grandson doesn't really look like you, does he? Shui Fugui laughed heartily. He's my granddaughter's husband, so he's practically my grandson. Zhou Yuexing then asked the two, speaking of which, Brother Shui, what brings you back on this adventure? Rubbing his hands together, Shui Fugui hinted, Zhou Yuexing, how about joining me in a big venture? Zhou Yuexing's interest was Pete. What's the plan? Help me take over the position of the Shui family patriarch. Zhou Yuexing pointed to his own head. Brother Shui, are you alright in there? Shui Fugui gestured towards Xiao Tian. It's my grandson's plan. He's in charge of taking down the current Shui family patriarch, and I'll handle my father, the head of the Shui family. Hearing this, Zhou Yuexing was utterly baffled. Is this a plan or just nonsense? What's going on with your grandson turning you into this? Suddenly, a rumbling noise came from behind. Xiao Tian looked up to see a group of people approaching from a distance in the sky, led by Shui Keichao, the current patriarch of the Shui family, surrounded by well-armed guards. Xiao Tian was surprised. I didn't expect this. The Shui family has quite good taste. This whole setup looks very intimidating. Pretty cool. Shui Fugui scoffed. That's no surprise. I bought all that equipment. What? Grandpa bought it. Xiao Tian was astonished, feeling quite exasperated. Robbing your own family stuff. That's just like a bandit. As Shui Keichao approached, everyone around knelt down and bowed in greeting. Before he could finish his statement towards Shui Fugui, an abrupt rebuke echoed through the air, interrupting him. Xiao Tian stepped forward, glaring at Shui Keichao. The armor and weapons your men are wearing were stolen from my grandfather. How dare you confront him with such shamelessness? Shui Fugui and Zhou Yuexing chuckled secretly at this boldness. That's our grandson, fearless in speaking the truth, they thought. Shui Keichao narrowed his eyes and shifted his focus to Xiao Tian. Grandpa, you're naive, kid. You really think Shui Fugui is a reliable support, and that bear gives you the audacity to speak nonsense? Such an insignificant ant, he said, as a frosty aura emanated from his fingertip. With a flick, a tiny ice sword energy shot towards Xiao Tian. Zhou Yuexing's expression changed, and he quickly extended his large bear paw, trying to block it. Not good, I can't directly withstand a 21st tier sword energy. Xiao Tian, be careful, but just as the ice sword energy was an inch from Xiao Tian's forehead, a finger appeared, colliding with the tip of the icy sword energy. The next second, the formidable ice sword energy shattered into ice flakes scattering in the air. Zhou Yuexing was astounded, his eyes nearly popping out. A strike from a 21st tier peak was broken so easily, 
Xiao Tianyan. How boring. Shui Chua Chao's expression darkened too. He now sat up straight. Who is this guy? I can't gauge his depth. Xiao Tian, lowering his finger, stared back at Shui Ke Chao. So you resort to violence directly? It seems Shui Tian has already instructed you to carry out his plans. You indeed have a shocking conspiracy brewing behind the scenes. Upon hearing Xiao Tian's words, Shui Chua Chao's pupils contracted slightly. Exposed? Impossible. How could it be? Shui Fugui looked embarrassed. My grandson is spouting nonsense again. He must have confused Shui Ke Chao. But when Shui Fugui saw Shui Ke Chao's reaction, he broke into a cold sweat. Could it be that Shui Ke Chao and Shui Tian are indeed plotting something? And my grandson has guessed it right? Shui Ke Chao, observing Xiao Tian below, was surprised by the strength he had just displayed. Convinced that his plan couldn't have been exposed, he concluded Xiao Tian was bluffing. After pondering for a moment, Shui Ke Chao spoke again. I have no idea what nonsense you're talking about. Nonsense? Xiao Tian shook his head slightly. If I'm not mistaken, you've already teamed up with the Martial Spirit Army, haven't you? Hearing this, Shui Ke Chao's pupils shrank. He actually knows. Who is it? Who leaked our plan? We're at the most critical moment of our scheme, about to succeed. If something goes wrong here, it will be disastrous. Everyone involved will die. Shui Ke Chao's expression darkened, and he began to mobilize the spiritual energy within him. Zhou Yuexing, standing at the entrance of the Lu Guixiang Commerce Association, narrowed his eyes looking upwards. Brother Shui, something's wrong. Your father is about to make a move. Shui Fugui spoke hesitantly and uncertainly. No, he might not be my biological father. These words almost made Zhou Yuexing tumble down the steps. He stared at Shui Fugui with wide bare eyes. Brother Shui, you can't just say things like that. It might not be just a baseless claim. Shui Fugui looked up into the sky. The guesses my grandson made are provoking murderous intent in Shui Ke Chao. It means he guessed right, and so, there's a high possibility that what he said about my secret identity is also correct. I might not be his biological son. At the moment Shui Ke Chao began to move, his body surged with spiritual energy, unleashing a fearsome power. Shui Fugui, seeing this, swiftly positioned himself in front of Xiao Tian, surprising everyone with his unexpected speed. In the next instant, Shui Fugui's body expanded, his flabby flesh transforming into robust muscles. In a blink, he confronted Shui Ke Chao, swinging his massive fist and shouting, Die! Zhou Yuexing was stunned. Is that really my brother Shui? Xiao Tian muttered, eight extremes fist, feared even by ghosts and deities. He pointed to the side. Look there. In that moment, Shui Fugui's punch landed squarely on Shui Ke Chao's chest. As Shui Fugui raised his fist again, Shui Ke Chao, terrified, tried to flee. But as Shui Fugui roared in rage, Shui Ke Chao activated his ice sword shield. However, it shattered instantly under Shui Fugui's next punch, spitting out a mouthful of blood. Shui Ke Chao was bewildered. How can this be? Why can't I defeat Shui Fugui? Shui Fugui responded with a dismissive gesture. Now it's your turn to be trash. With Shui Ke Chao's sword rapidly forming ice crystals, and the swirling snow around them converging, changing the very colors of the sky and earth. With a furious shout of ice realm, Shui Ke Chao raised his sword. The use of the path is not something your brute strength can match. But Shui Fugui, unfazed, gazed at the falling ice sword. Raising his hand, he unleashed the eight extremes, tiger wave. In an instant, a ferocious water tiger collided with the ice realm, shattering it with a crack. As the ice realm, formed by the power of the universal path, broke apart, Shui Ke Chao was shaken to his core, suffering severe injuries and spewing blood. Shui Fugui, looking at the weakened Shui Ke Chao, felt a surge of emotion. I have finally freed myself from the shackles of the Shui family. At that moment, Shui Ke Chao spat out another mouthful of blood, muttering, the ancestor will surely avenge me. Shui Fugui, looking determined, said, then I'll just have to finish you off before your ancestor arrives. Charging towards Shui Ke Chao, Shui Fugui unleashed a relentless barrage of attacks, turning Shui Ke Chao into a human punching bag. Shui Wuyo, stiffened in midair, was filled with disbelief. Is that really the head of the family being battered around? And the one in the air, attacking like a ferocious beast? Is that really Shui Fugui as I know him? Elder, a leader among the Shui family guards approached Shui Wuyo. What should we do now? Act Shui Wuyo's eyes flashed with a ruthless light. This Shui Fugui must be eliminated. Killing him and helping our patriarch escape is a meritorious deed. He took a deep breath, his spiritual energy subtly stirring, with the power of the universal path becoming evident, a 21st tier power. Just then, Xiao Tian placed his hand on Shui Wuyo's shoulder. Wait, swallowing hard, Shui Wuyo slowly turned to face the young man who appeared beside him without notice. Grandpa is disciplining the head thief. What are you, a bunch of shameless bandits, planning to do? Xiao Tian gently fanned Shui Wuyo's face. Shui Wuyo swallowed again, his expression slightly awkward as he looked at Xiao Tian. Nothing. We weren't doing anything. Xiao Tian pressed further. Will you stay put here and wait for justice to be served? Can you follow orders? Shui Wuyo's eyebrows twitched, and his face contorted into a smile uglier than crying. Understood. Xiao Tian, satisfied, patted Shui Wuyo on the head. The Shui family guards behind them trembled with fear. Just then, Puppy, suggested, Master, you should look more relaxed. Tilt the skewer in your mouth a bit more to the right. It will look cooler and more impressive. Following Puppy's guidance, Xiao Tian adopted a more 
more casual demeanor. How about now? Puppy smiled approvingly. Perfect. Below them, Zhou Yuexing, scratching his head with his big bare paw, looked up somewhat confusedly. Is this kid just showing off? Meanwhile, Shue Fugui, holding Shue Kei Chao, confronted him. Someone like you can't possibly be a descendant of the great virtue emperor. How could you be my biological father? Tell me, who are you really? Shue Kei Chao glanced upwards, wondering how much Xiao Tian knew. Shue Fugui remained silent, but the subtle reactions of Shue Kei Chao made him realize that Xiao Tian's guesses were correct. This kid actually hit the mark, he thought. After a moment, Shue Fugui took a deep breath and declared loudly, The Shue family is unfortunate to have Shue Kei Chao, a despicable and shameless man, as its head. From today, I, Shue Fugui, will temporarily assume the role of the family head. Everything will remain as is, but the Commerce Association's guards will be renamed the Shue Slaughter Army, tasked with maintaining order. Anyone who resists will be shown no mercy. Brother Shue, you're really impressive. Looking at Shue Kei Chao and Shue Fugui's hands, Zhou Yuexing asked curiously, Brother Shue, what are your plans now? That's a question for my son-in-law. Shue Fugui replied, looking at Xiao Tian hurting Shue Wuyo and the others like ducks. Kneel there, and don't get up until I say so. Understand? Shue Wuyo hastily nodded. Understood, my lord. We will kneel right away. Right away. Shue Fugui, holding Shue Kei Chao in his hand, directly faced Xiao Tian and said, How about that? Now that grandfather has completed the first step of the plan, it's time for your performance, isn't it? Suddenly, a mocking expression appeared on Shue Chua Chao's face. The hidden location of our ancestor. You will never know it. You'll never get the exact location from me. You can try if you don't believe me. Zhou Yuexing narrowed his eyes at Shue Chua Chao's words. It seems that the patriarch of the Shue family must have some secret restrictions on him. Once triggered, it will cause his body to explode and die. Shue Fugui smiled and waved his hand, indicating him to be at ease. No worries. In fact, we have already found the location of the Shue family. That's right. Take a look at this, Xiao Tian said, suddenly gesturing with his hand, and from his sea of consciousness space, he pulled out a figure. This is the captured avatar of the Shue family's ancestor. Through this avatar, I have already located the position of the Shue family's ancestor. Shue Kei Chao looked at the avatar of Shue Tian, also being dragged, his pupils constricting, his worldview shattered. My son is dead, and even his avatar couldn't protect him. The avatar of Shue Tian was on the verge of collapse. I don't want to return to Xiao Tian's sea of consciousness anymore. Constantly being scattered and reassembled, it's too prone to collapse. Let's go, let's go, let's catch someone. Xiao Tian rose into the air, while Shue Fugui turned to Zhou Yuexing beside him. Little brother, want to come and see? Of course. Zhou Yuexing replied without hesitation and quickly followed Shue Fugui, following Xiao Tian. After they left, Shue Wuyo still stood there honestly, sweat continuously seeping from his forehead. He and the Snow family guards behind him all kneeled in the same posture on the square in front of the Lu Guixiang Commerce Association's entrance, not daring to move. Soon after, the group arrived in the void. Xiao Tian looked ahead. I can sense that it's inside this world fragment. Grandfather, come on in, he urged. Zhou Yuexing, pointing ahead, was visibly frightened. Shue Fugui, however, appeared calm and patted Zhou Yuexing. Relax, this is nothing. You are, after all, the son of the demon emperor. Don't be so faint-hearted. Zhou Yuexing looked ahead for a long time, unable to recover. It's not about being faint-hearted or not. Even if my father came here, he would have never seen someone tearing apart the world barrier with bare hands. Let's go. Don't dawdle. Think of it as a fun trip, Shue Fugui said, leading the way. Zhou Yuexing hurriedly followed. As soon as they entered, they were struck by the scene before them. What are they doing? Zhou Yuexing squinted to see the figures bound in the distance, his eyes widening in surprise. The young master of the Shue family, who would have thought that after disappearing for over 500 years, he was trapped here. Shue Fugui turned. Who is the young master of the Shue family? Shue Jintian, the young master of the Shue family. He reached the peak of the 22nd level at the age of 30. 500 years ago, he ventured alone into the dangerous void to break through to the 23rd level, and then he went missing. At this moment, Xiao Tian suddenly noticed someone who resembled Shue Fugui. Grandfather, that person looks a lot like you. Is he your brother? Shue Fugui looked over. My 10th brother. Xiao Tian then looked up at Shue Tian in the sky. Old thief, I didn't expect you to hide here to prevent me from finding you. Shue Fugui quickly turned. Dear grandson, quick, this is my brother. Can you help me save him? But he realized that Xiao Tian had already disappeared. At this moment, Xiao Tian leapt into the air, his hand glowing red as he slashed down. You cunning old dog, die. Blood prison thunder flash slash. Shui Tian, not yet recognizing Xiao Tian, remarked, this young man, making such a fuss over a fight. Suddenly, a protective shield appeared, blocking Xiao Tian's attack. Shui Tian's aura exploding. He was at the 23rd level. Then, a giant rock fell towards Xiao Tian, who simply whispered 8 and 10,000, and with a single sword strike, split the giant rock in two. As dust rose, the sword was already at Shui Tian's forehead, shattering his clothes with its powerful impact. Evil will ultimately be defeated, and justice will always triumph, Xiao Tian proclaimed. Zhou Yuexing, meanwhile, took out a recording spiritual device to capture the moment. Shue Fugui, puzzled, asked, Zhou brother, what are you doing? Zhou Yuexing shouted towards Xiao Tian, kid, 
I've recorded everything. Seeing this, Shuefugue felt somewhat envious. You're always exuding your irresistible charm. Dear grandson, hearing this, Xiao Tian threw Shui Tian to the ground and stepped on his head to prevent him from escaping. Grandfather Zhou, let me see how you recorded it. Do I look particularly handsome? Don't worry, recording the myriad worlds is my hobby. My photography skills are second to none. Zhou Yuexing reassured. Handsome indeed. This angle is brilliant, Xiao Tian commented. It would be even better with a suitable piece of music, Zhou Yuexing suggested. Xiao Tian directed while watching the recording. I want to add a cool sound effect right here. Shue Fugue, standing aside, said, Little Xiao, I'll go over to the formation for a bit. Upon hearing this, Xiao Tian casually waved his hand. Yeah, go ahead, grandfather. Shue Fugue, holding Shue Ke Chao, remarked, In my memory, my tenth brother died in the process of saving your son. Now, not only is he alive, but you also have him trapped here. Well done, Shue Ke Chao, full of regret, said, It was so close, just a little longer and the plan would have succeeded. Suddenly, Shue Ling Bei, kneeling on the ground, felt the energy of the formation binding him weakening. It seems the formation trapping me will soon disappear. But when he looked up, he was thrilled. Third brother, Shue Fugue also shouted, Tenth brother. Suddenly, Shue Ling Bei yelled at Shue Fugue, Third brother, be careful. As he spoke, a hidden guardian of the realm suddenly rushed out from behind Shue Fugue. Shue Yun, placing his hand on Shue Fugue's shoulder, said, Good thing I hid quickly. Otherwise, they would have found me as soon as they came in. But once I capture this seemingly weak guy and use him as a hostage, I can escape easily. However, when he pulled, Shue Fugue didn't budge. Shue Fugue turned his head and said, enjoying yourself, aren't you? Shue Yun was stunned. What the heck? He's so proactive. But in the next moment, Shue Fugue's body began to swell, growing larger and larger. What are you doing? Shue Yun quickly pointed behind him. Look, your brother is in trouble. He then turned to flee, but Shue Fugue grabbed his ankle. Where do you think you're going? With a slight exertion of force by Shue Fugue, a sound of bones breaking was heard. Shue Yun screamed in agony as Shue Fugue dragged him back. Like a pitiful doll, Shue Yun was tossed around by Shue Fugue. In no time, the once some what handsome Shui Yun was left bloodied and beaten, looking like a pig's head. Shui Ke Chao, watching from the side, shook his head lightly. What an idiot. Shui Yun turned his head, looking at Shui Ke Chao next to him, who also looked like a pig-headed figure, and said, Aren't you just beaten into a pig head yourself? What face do you have to mock me here? As soon as he finished speaking, both of them immediately filled with rage. If I could use my spiritual energy now, I would have killed you already. At that moment, Shui Fugue had already broken the shackles on Shui Ling Bei and the others. Then, he directly embraced Shui Ling Bei, 10th brother. Brother, you're really not dead. That's great. Shue Ling Bei was still a bit dazed. Third brother, how did you suddenly? Shue Fugui returned to his previous appearance. I've been practicing martial arts lately. My physique has slightly changed. Third brother, what kind of martial arts have you practiced? You've become so strong all of a sudden. Shue Fugui waved his hand. That's a long story. I have to start from my precious granddaughter who summoned her son-in-law Xiao Tian from another world. Just at that moment, a crisp shattering sound suddenly rang out. The entire blood-colored formation was shaking continuously. Shue Fugui looked up towards the sky and saw that the man sealed in the formation was constantly emitting powerful auras. Shue Fugue quickly protected his tenth brother behind him. Shue Shintian tore off his shackles. More than 500 years. I've finally come out. Rui Tian, have I wronged you in any way? You were an orphan. My father adopted you and I treated you like a real younger brother, even giving you the Shue surname. Why did you betray me? Hearing this, Shue Fugue was struck as if by lightning. The patriarch of the Shue family, Shue Tian, was originally named Rui Tian and came from a beggar's background. Rui Tian, lying on the ground, sneered. You speak so nicely. Am I not just a servant in your Shue family's clan records? What brother? It's just lip service. In front of outsiders, am I not just a dog raised by your Shue family? Shue Xintian looked at Rui Tian. If that's the case, why did I beat those who bullied and insulted you half to death back then, forcing them to bark like dogs? Rui Tian was stunned for a moment. Yes, all your reckless actions were for me. How did I forget that? At that moment, Shue Xintian flicked his hand, and a paper contract shimmering with spiritual energy light fell in front of Rui Tian. Rui Tian, looking at the floating paper, trembled. Impossible. This isn't real. You're deceiving me. It must be a lie. In the Shue family's clan records, you are my sworn brother. I was going to tell you this, but unexpectedly, you collaborated with people from Hidden Marshal to capture me, strip me of my bloodline, and try to open the various boundaries set by our ancestor, the Great Virtue Emperor, in the Meteor Flame battlefield. As he spoke, Shue Xintian snatched back the clan registration book from Rui Tian's hand, only to see Shue Xintian's cold expression. Shue Xintian then tore up the registration book his voice cold and calm. I regret it. You don't deserve to be my brother. Rui Tian sat down on the ground in shock. Impossible. You're lying to me. You must be deliberately deceiving me. Believe it or not, that's up to you. Thankfully, if they hadn't come to rescue me in time, in a year, the arrangements of the Great Virtue Emperor would have been destroyed by your hands. Shui Xintian turned to look at Xiao Tian, but saw that the two were recording. Xiao Tian frowned. Is that it? Just because he was a servant, all this trouble? Isn't there some other, darker reason? Like, this Rui Tian, ruling for ages, seeing through the past and present, 
wanting to target an innocent person named Xiao Tian, Rui Tian, lying on the ground, heard Xiao Tian's ramblings and lost his sense of reason. Who is targeting you? I don't even know who you are. Why would I target you? Are you sick? Xiao Tian stroked his chin. It doesn't make sense. Could there be a deeper force behind the scenes? As Xiao Tian spoke, his eyes suddenly widened. Could it be that the real instigator is actually the Xue family clan? Hearing this, Xue Fugue, who was nearby, couldn't sit still anymore. Impossible. The Xue family clan has no grudges or grievances against you. Why would they target you? You're right, since it's not related to me. But the fact that he hurt you is true, said Xiao Tian. Approaching Rui Tian, hurting my grandfather is like hurting me. To soothe my wounded heart, you'll have to compensate me with the entire Xue family of the Ring Mountain realm. Rui Tian was stunned for a moment. If I don't give it to you, will you force me to sign a contract? Humph, nonsensical. Just then, the sky suddenly split open, and the rules of heaven and earth descended, transforming into a golden seal. Words flowed continuously out of Rui Tian's body, finally falling under the golden seal floating in front of Xiao Tian. After a moment, Xiao Tian looked at the world's rules in his hand, thoughtfully, and then surprisingly handed them over to Xue Fugue. Grandpa, I'm bound to many world realms. You manage this one for me. Seeing this, the world's rules transformed into a little figure, came to Xiao Tian's side to help him straighten his clothes, looking eager to please. Xiao Tian, however, waved his hand. This has nothing to do with you. You can go. The power of the world's rules disappeared instantly. All right, the compensation matter is settled. The Ring Mountain Realm Xue family is now completely ours. Xue Fugue was dumbfounded. What did I just see? The world's rules not only helped my dear grandson get the contract for the Ring Mountain Realm, but also transformed into a little figure to please him by tidying up his appearance before leaving. Xiao Tian began to count Rui Tian's sins. You were ungrateful to the young master of the Xue family. Your descendants exploited and oppressed the descendants of the Xue family. The entire moral and ethical thinking of the Ring Mountain Realm Xue family has been lowered by you scum. To set an example, I have decided to release all the footage we just shot, spread it far and wide, to serve as a warning, he said. Turning to Zhou Yuexing, Grandpa Zhou, you can slightly modify the recorded footage for use. Xue Xintian couldn't help but interject. Rui Tian isn't wearing clothes, but Xiao Tian waved his hand. It doesn't matter, you're dressed, I'm dressed. It's a shame if he isn't, it's none of our business. After saying this, Xiao Tian turned to Rui Tian, you don't need to thank me, it's what I should do. But Rui Tian yelled, no, you can't do this, you can't. He even knelt in front of Xiao Tian, hugging his legs, begging Xiao Tian to kill him. Xiao Tian flatly refused, no, how can you die? The next second, all of Rui Tian's joints and cultivation were destroyed by Xiao Tian. After doing all this, Xiao Tian clapped his hands, now you can't commit suicide, I still need to parade you through the streets to show your determination to atone. I can't let you die easily. Rui Tian lay on the ground, weeping bitterly, beast, inhuman, just kill me, don't make me do such shameful things, I know you're grateful to me, no need to say it, just keep it in your heart. Rui Tian, lying on the ground, wailed miserably, wishing he could devour the man in front of him alive. Beast, this guy in front of me is inhuman, why won't he kill me, why is he treating me like this? Xue Fugue hurried forward, saying, little Xiao, we shouldn't stay here too long, how about we head back to the Xue family's place first, and then discuss further? Xiao Tian nodded in agreement, sounds good. Soon, the group arrived above the Xue family's territory, to think this place has been occupied by these scoundrels, what a waste. Suddenly, a voice from below challenged them, who dares to trespass into the Xue family's domain. However, when the people below saw Xue Xintian holding Xue Tian, they angrily exclaimed, how dare you treat our ancestor like this? As they said this, they charged forward, shouting, ancestor, we will avenge you. But before they could get close, a powerful force shattered their heart meridians. Rui Tian let out a painful wail, my children. Xue Xintian glanced at Rui Tian beside him and said slowly, you humiliated and killed my descendants. I annihilated your offspring. An eye for an eye, seems fair. Xue Fugui then suggested, Rui Tian doesn't have a permanent residence in the Ring Mountain realm. Let's stay at Xue Chiuachao's place for the time being. The food and accommodations there are quite good. Xiao Tian, looking like a foodie, exclaimed, great, finally, a chance to rest properly. Not long after, they gathered around the dining table. Xue Fugui, feeling sentimental, said, in the past, life in the Xue family was miserable. That's why it's important to treat ourselves well when we're outside, or life would be too hard. Hearing this, Xue Xintian felt bitter inside, to think that the descendants of the Xue clan had such a harsh life. With these thoughts, he suddenly kicked Rui Tian. I regret letting your offspring die so easily. I should have made you watch how I tormented them. Rui Tian shed tears of regret. Why did I let myself be deceived and harmed by the people of Hidden Marshal against Xue Xintian? Otherwise, I wouldn't be in such a miserable state now. Xiao Tian, puzzled, asked, What do you mean by Hidden Marshal? Hidden Marshal, fully named Hidden Marshal Chaotic Universe, exists at the other end of the Meteor Flame Battlefield. The Meteor Flame Battlefield is like a unique barrier, designed to limit the strength of those entering the battlefield. Level 20 warriors can enter small battlefields, while the medium-sized Meteor Flame Battlefield allows level 23 warriors to enter. My father-in-law advanced to level 21 in the battlefield. Why didn't he 
enter the medium-sized meteor flame battlefield? Asked Xiao Tian. Shui Shantian shook his head. You can only leave through a battlefield breakthrough, not enter. You need to break through within the realm world to enter a higher level battlefield. Upon hearing this, Xiao Tian became excited. Grandpa, if I merge this realm world with the Empress Domain, wouldn't my grandpa and law be able to directly advance to the medium-sized meteor flame battlefield? Hearing this, the others were somewhat incredulous. Since when is merging realm worlds become so easy? Shui Fugui nodded. It seems feasible. However, Shui Tian suddenly interjected. You're quite generous. You've just become the head of the Shui family, and now you want to merge the entire Shui family into another place to be governed by others. Are you sure you don't have other plans? Don't tell me you plan to take over the management of the Empress Domain through your age and experience after the worlds are merged? Shui Fugui, I can hear the schemes in your mind. Do you think your grandson is a fool? Shui Fugui glared at Shui Tian. How dare you try to sow discord between me and my grandson? Despicable. He quickly told Rui Tian to shut up, then turned to Xiao Tian. Little Xiao, I didn't mean it like that. But Xiao Tian lifted his foot and kicked Rui Tian into the ground. Do you think I'm an idiot? He said coldly. The fear of death loomed over Rui Tian, especially the killing intent directed at him, making him shiver. Suddenly, Xiao Tian turned to Zhou Yuexing. Grandfather Zhou, is it done? Don't worry, I've captured the scene of him peeing himself in a close-up shot. It's very clear, Zhou Yuexing replied. Xiao Tian looked at the photo. To judge the noble by the standards of the petty, scared to the point of peeing himself, serves him right. Seeing this, Shui Fugui felt relieved. To think you're still trying to use vile methods to stir trouble between us at this point. You're really seeking death. Thankfully, my grandson didn't believe it. Xiao Tian crouched in front of Rui Tian. Grandfather, the Shui family of the Ring Mountain Realm is so renowned, and everyone who knows of the Shui family regards Rui Tian as the family's ancestor. Then why hasn't the Shui clan come to inquire about it? Hearing this, Shui Xintian was alarmed. Right, there must be someone in the Shui clan obstructing the truth, concealing the news of my victimization to let Rui Tian act so recklessly. I must return to the Shui clan to investigate the truth. So, what should we do with the Ring Mountain Realm now? Merge it. As you suggested, the matter of merging needs careful consideration. The spiritual energy in the Empress domain is already chaotic. If we rashly add a new realm world, I fear the spiritual energy might explode, causing all the realm worlds to collapse. Grandpa, can people from the Spirit Ability clan absorb spiritual energy? Shui Fugui pondered for a moment and said, it's more about purification than absorption. Their purification function is even more thorough than that of the Flower God tribe. Xiao Tian was delighted. Wonderful. We can arrange for the Spirit Ability Clan people we save to stay in the Empress Domain and work with the Flower God tribe to purify the spiritual energy. Once the spiritual energy is restored, we can merge the Ring Mountain Realm into the Empress Domain. Suddenly, a familiar aura appeared beside them, a secret method of the Shui family for seeking blood relations. Shui Fugui, sensing the same source of aura, suddenly turned to Shui Xintian. This aura, could it be that you are? Shui Xintian embraced Shui Fugui. My child, you've suffered over these years. It's okay. At least I found my biological father. Xiao Tian then asked Shui Xintian, Great great grandfather, when you're ready to confront the Shui clan, we can support you. Even if you want to become the head of the Shui clan, I'm with you. Shui Xintian, happy, waved his hand. Ha ha ha. After all, I am an elder. It's embarrassing to always trouble a junior like you. Then his expression turned serious. But if this old man really encounters danger, I hope you can save me. Great great grandfather, rest assured. If anything happens to you, I'll make the entire Shui clan pay. Shui Xintian patted Xiao Tian's shoulder. Ha ha ha. With your words, I am relieved. Then, Shui Fugui asked, Father, Xiao Tian and I will take the Spirit Ability Clan people back to the Empress Domain to deal with the spiritual energy. Can you take care of things here? Go ahead, son. I've got this place, he reassured. Soon after, in the dark void, Xiao Tian's force field still enveloped everyone. After determining the direction, they gradually increased their speed towards the Empress Domain. Aren't we using a void flying spiritual device? Zhou Yuexing, covered by the force field, looked surprised and turned to Shui Fugui, who replied, Don't look at me. Little Xiao thinks the void flying spiritual devices are too slow, so he chose to fly himself. Too slow? This surprised Zhou Yuexing, who looked towards Xiao Tian. Suddenly, tears came to Zhou Yuexing's eyes. This is too fast. As a deafening roar erupted, everyone immediately felt a strong sensation of being pushed back. At that moment, Lu Guixiang shouted and repelled the incoming Blood Rune clan. Suddenly, a massive figure descended from the sky, pushing Lu Guixiang back. As she looked up, he saw a tall figure covered in bone armor, a member of the bone armor clan from the martial spirit army, known for their charging prowess and one of the main races in the army. Lu Guixiang, facing the oncoming bone armor clan, felt uneasy. What kind of race is this? I've never seen them on the battlefield before. Are they going to be more troublesome? Just then, a golden cold ice sword energy, accompanied by a dragon's roar, swept around. Grandma, are you okay? Z Ruoyan, clad in golden armor, landed beside her. It's okay. It's my fault for being too anxious and leading us into a trap. Grandma, don't say that. It's normal for you to be anxious to find Grandpa since he went to find Lord Xiao and his fate is unknown. But at that moment, a figure swiftly attacked them. However, 
the next second, an explosion sounded, and intense flames blasted the Bone Armor Clan member to death. The unexpected assistance with a strange technique surprised many, who turned to look in astonishment. A figure bathed in flames stood at the edge of the warship's railing. Zhong Ling smiled secretly. Now it's my turn to make a dramatic entrance. At this moment, Zhong Li Suang was a bit stunned. Zhong Ling, when did my daughter become so strong? And when did she get on the ship? Z Ruoyan was also taken aback. 15th level, not bad at all. When did this girl become so formidable? With the arrival of Zhong Ling, the battlefield descended into chaos. You dare to act so boldly in front of your grandmother? Watch as I take you down. Grandma, watch out on your side. Don't worry, my dear granddaughter. Just at that moment, a group of aliens with blue skin and scales, the Green Scale Clan, attacked Zhong Li Huang. Seeing the sharp weapons approaching, tears fell from Zhong Li Shuang's eyes, thinking, it's over. Suddenly, Zhong Yangming burst forth, pushing away the Green Scale Clan attackers. Careful, my wife, he shouted. Zhong Li Huang was dumbfounded, pointing at Zhong Yangming and asking, Zhong Ling, is this your father? I always hear a prince speaking highly of my father's talent, and seeing him today, it's indeed true. Soon, Zhong Yangming finished off the Green Scale Clan. Such lowly ants. My wife, are you hurt? Zhong Li Huang, tears still in her eyes, responded, it's the first time I'm looking up to you like this. Zhong Yangming, noticing her tears, burst out in anger. You lowly bugs dared to make the wife of the Prime Minister cry. You will all pay. As Zhong Yangming defeated many from the Green Scale Clan, Zhong Li Huang was in disbelief. Is this really your father? Meanwhile, the Blood Surge Clan in front suddenly emitted a level 20 aura. Unexpected indeed, to encounter such a twist. Zhong Yangming, sensing the formidable aura, released a Bone Armor Clan member he was crushing, and focused his attention on the new threat. Suddenly, a huge rift appeared in the void. Zhong Ling looked up. Something's not right. Z Ruoyan's Imperial will transform into a dragon, ascending and soaring in the sky. How can there suddenly be so many from the Martial Spirit Army, and even a level 20 warrior? Lu Guixiang looked around gravely. Grandma really made a big mistake. It's not Grandma's fault. Even if we didn't go looking for Grandpa, with them hiding here, trouble was bound to happen eventually. Besides, capturing me won't be that easy. Surrounded in the dark void, Xiao Tian, who had been swiftly flying towards the Empress Domain, suddenly stopped. Floating in the darkness, he looked in a specific direction. What's wrong? Xue Fugui asked, puzzled by Xiao Tian's sudden halt. Zi Ruoyan, my wife, is in danger, Xiao Tian exclaimed. Xue Fugui was alarmed. What happened? Why do you say that? I left a trace of my will in Zi Ruoyan. If she's in danger, I'll sense it immediately, Xiao Tian explained. At that moment, Zhong Yangming was covered in wounds, bleeding profusely, fighting off the relentless attacks from the hidden marshal's martial spirit army. The clash of combat resounded sharply. The green-scaled aliens blindsided Lu Guixiang, knocking her out of the fight. Grandma, Zi Ruoyan cried out. Lu Guixiang, gasping for breath, urged, I'm okay, help Zhong Ling and the others first. Zi Ruoyan gritted her teeth, looking at her struggling companions. We haven't found Grandpa, and we're all going to perish here. Suddenly, a thunderous sound struck, with lightning accurately hitting members of the Martial Spirit Army. Zi Ruoyan was suddenly pulled back, narrowly escaping an enemy's blade. Before she could react, she found herself in a familiar embrace. Bully my majesty, did I allow that? Lord Xiao. Zi Ruoyan's eyes sparkled with relief as she relaxed completely. Thank goodness I'm not too late. Are you hurt? Zi Ruoyan? Xiao Tian asked. The formidable Great Flame Empress blushed and nodded slightly, her voice soft. I am not injured. My Empress is safe. That's good. But then she quickly realized. Not good. Lord Xiao, you must go save Grandma. It's okay. Grandpa is there. Xiao Tian assured Zi Ruoyan with a smile. Zi Ruoyan spread her hands in exasperation. It's lucky if Grandma doesn't have to save Grandpa. Asking Grandpa to save Grandma? That's like a buy one get one free deal. Just then, a thunderous voice echoed. Harm my wife, and you seek death. Zi Ruoyan quickly turned her head towards the direction of the voice, and sure enough, Grandpa had charged in from afar. Lu Guixiang, caught in the ambush, was puzzled and exclaimed, Idiot, what are you doing? This time, I'll protect you, Xue Fugui declared, his chest seemingly roaring with rage, as if something within his bloodline was igniting. All of you, die! With his arms swinging, he formed numerous palm prints, taking down the surrounding green-scaled aliens one by one. Zi Ruoyan was astonished by her grandfather's sudden change. Xiao Tian winked at her. Grandpa's talent is very impressive. Soon, the remaining green-scale clan started to flee. Meanwhile, Zhou Yuexing, along with the heavily wounded Zhou Yangming, joined the group. Lord Prince, you're finally back, said Zhou Yuexing. Seeing Xiao Tian return, Zhong Yangming relaxed, feeling reassured. Xiao Tian looked at Zhong Yangming. You got beaten up pretty badly. Didn't you bring Wang Chiodao with you? If he was here, you two fusing would have easily swept these people away. Everyone turned to Zhong Yangming with odd looks in their eyes, wondering, they can fuse. How do they do that? Zhong Yangming felt embarrassed. Lord Prince, that's something we should discuss in private. How can you ask that out loud? Don't I have any dignity? Xue Fugui gently rubbed his wife's head. Now, let your husband take your place and vent your anger. This time, I'll be at the forefront. With those words, he dived forward. Die. Accompanied by Shue Fugui's furious roar, he charged into the reassembled
assembled enemy army fighting like a precise war machine. Seeing this, Lu Guixiang blushed. Really, we're an old married couple, and he still talks about protecting me. Isn't he embarrassed in front of the children? Zi Ruoyan, also feeling a bit shy, glanced sideways at Xiao Tian. How long are you going to hold me? Xiao Tian's lips curled up slightly. Forever. After all, fighting for so long must be exhausting for the Empress. Resting on me is only reasonable, right? My dear Empress, Zi Ruoyan coughed lightly, her cheeks reddening. Indeed, I am quite tired. Exactly. The Empress has worked hard. I should hold you even tighter, Xiao Tian replied, tightening his embrace. Zhong Li Suang looked at Zhong Yangming's wounds, concerned. Are you alright? It's nothing serious, just minor injuries. Since I've been training with Prince, my physique has grown stronger. These wounds will heal in no time, he reassured her. Zhong Li Suang noticed that his injuries were indeed healing at a visible rate, letting out a sigh of relief. What's the point of acting tough? Rushing forward alone, trying to look impressive. Ha, huh? and you've become so powerful without even telling me. Zhong Yangming endured his wife's playful hit, scratching his head with an awkward smile. I had to keep it secret to protect our information. The enemy's capabilities were unclear, and acting rashly could have led to failure. Like now, they thought we were weak, so they dared to trap us in the corner of the void with their formation. They couldn't have guessed our family's true strength. Hearing this, Zhong Li Suang turned to Zhong Ling. I almost forgot about you. Sneaking onto the ship, she reached out to twist Zhong Ling's ear. How dare you sneak on board? What if something had happened? I just wanted to have some fun with dad. Being cooped up in the Great Flame Dynasty for cultivation is boring, and I'm stronger than mom now. What could go wrong? Zhong Ling replied. Zhong Li Suang fell silent for a moment, her eyes reddening. Back then, I was the only one who didn't know Prince was so powerful. Now, in our family of three, I'm the weakest. You both became so strong and still kept it from me. Her voice grew more aggrieved. Zhong Yangming and Zhong Ling quickly came forward to comfort her. Wife, I'm sorry. You can hit me. Just don't cry. Mom, you're stronger than me. Really, you're the most invincible race in the world. This warm scene formed a stark contrast to the distant battleground. At that moment, Shue Fugue's hands conjured a supreme pole, exhibiting a formidable psychic power. With a shout, he launched the supreme pole at his opponent, then dove forward, bursting the enemy with a single punch. Zhong Yangming was impressed. Incredible. Old man Shua has mastered psychic power so quickly. It's like he's a completely different person overnight. Zi Ruoyan looked at her husband, Xiao Tian. How did you do it? Xiao Tian rubbed Zi Ruoyan's head. Grandpa has an amazing talent for martial arts. Naturally robust. Plus he's consumed a lot of resources. What he needed was just the right opportunity to start his martial arts journey. Just then, Shue Fugue threw the person he had captured onto the deck. Grandson, I've captured the leader and found something interesting. Take a look. Xiao Tian examined it, and his expression changed. Is this from the Spirit Ability Clan? He summoned Lin Buyun from the Holy Dragon Relic. Are you the chief of the Spirit Ability Clan, Lin Buyun? Look at this. Lin Buyun, seeing the image of his clan on the tablet, looked startled. Lord Xiao, how come my people are on this? First, see what this tablet's pattern means, Xiao Tian suggested. Suddenly, the tablet began to vibrate, and a void appeared above it. Lin Buyun knelt down, startling Xiao Tian. What are you doing? Lin Buyun first cowed out frantically towards Xiao Tian. My lord, I can merge my homeland into the Empress domain, but I implore you, visit my hometown first and save my people. Xiao Tian smiled and helped Lin Buyun up. It's not that I don't want to help you. The spiritual energy in the Empress domain is currently too chaotic. Integrating another realm world might cause an explosion. Lin Buyun shook his head frantically. No, the spiritual energy in my hometown is pure and flawless. Merging it will only bring benefits. No harm. You'll understand once you visit. Lin Buyun pointed to the void that had appeared beside them. It can guide us there. I'm worried that similar tablets have exposed my hometown's location to others. It absolutely must not be found by the people of Hidden Marshal. Sir, seeing Lin Buyun about to kneel again, Xiao Tian quickly stopped him. Don't keep kneeling. I didn't say I wouldn't save your people. What's the scenery like in your hometown? Lin Buyun looked up, surprised, then instinctively replied, very beautiful. Then that's settled, Xiao Tian said. Turning to Zi Ruoyan, how about we go for a leisurely trip? Zi Ruoyan met Xiao Tian's gaze, a smile playing on her lips, and she said softly, I agree. Zhou Yuexing suddenly interjected. What about them? How do we deal with these two level 20 leaders of the Bone Armor Clan and Green Scale Clan? Xiao Tian approached the Green Scale Clan member, looking down at him. This is my first time seeing such a race. Quite rare. Zhou Yuexing pointed at the two. The Green Scale Clan is a troublesome presence in the Meteor Flame battlefield. They are natural assassins. Their scales help them hide their tracks. Xiao Tian shook his head with a scoff. Such a pathetic way of hiding. You dare call yourselves assassins? Using such despicable methods. Were you planning to use this tablet to find the Spirit Ability Clan's homeland? The Green Scale Clan member defiantly said, Do what you will with us. You won't get any information from me. In the next moment, Xiao Tian effortlessly kicked the Green Scale Clan member into dust. The Bone Armor Clan member beside him was completely stunned, thinking, What kind of monster is this? He just vanished with a kick. As Xiao Tian slowly approached him, the Bone Armor Clan member trembled, fearing, Is it my turn to die now? Xiao Tian spoke, From the beginning, you've been silent, like your comrade.
preferring death over surrender, never uttering a word of plea. Subjecting you to interrogation would be an insult to your iron will. As enemies, I understand your wish for an honorable death in battle. Therefore, I, Prince Xiao Tian of the Great Flame Dynasty, will grant you this opportunity. The level 20 Bone Armor Clan Warrior's pupils dilated in surprise. I'm not a tough guy. I surrender. Let me surrender. But before he could finish, Xiao Tian had already delivered a fatal kick to his head. Shaking his head, Xiao Tian remarked, Such is the nature of warriors on the battlefield, all tough to the core. His words caused the onlookers to twitch their mouths in disbelief. Zhou Yuexing glanced at Xiao Tian. They wanted to be weaklings, begging for mercy and a chance to live. Zi Ruoyan, from a distance, watched in disbelief. Her red lips slightly parted. Is it just my imagination? Why do I feel like the enemies died in such a frustrating way? Thinking about this, Zi Ruoyan gently turned her head to look at Zhong Ling and Lu Yan. Seeing their expressions were normal and not surprised, she mused, It seems Lord Xiao, in my absence, is quite unreasonable, yet adorably so. I wonder what kind of experiences he's had in the past to develop such an eccentric character. Zhong Ling, standing nearby, suddenly realized something. Right, if we go out, what about the Great Flame Dynasty? Xiao Tian, caught off guard, stiffened, and turned to Zhong Ling with an embarrassed expression. Oh no, I got so caught up in the idea of going out that I forgot such an important matter. Seeing Xiao Tian's expression, Zhong Ling quickly covered her mouth. Did I say something wrong? Will Lord Xiao silence me for this? There's no problem. Going out for a few days. What could possibly happen? Xiao Tian then brightened up, looking at Zi Ruoyan. Zi Ruoyan, my dear, you're so considerate. As a workaholic, you're willing to postpone work for me. I'm so happy. Zi Ruoyan, feigning sternness, asked, what's the matter? Does Prince Xiao not wish to comply with the decree? Xiao Tian immediately laughed. Not at all. I gladly comply. Let's go have fun. Zhong Ling excitedly shook her head. But before she could get too excited, her mother, Zhong Li Suang, grabbed her ear. You're so powerful, so you should come back home with me and help patrol the Great Flame Dynasty. Zhong Ling's expression turned into one of dismay upon hearing her mother's words. Ultimately, the group decided to split up. Xiao Tian, accompanied by Zi Ruoyan, set off towards Lin Buyan's hometown, while the rest headed back to the Empress Domain. Xiao Tian was overjoyed, laughing heartily to himself. Ah, a honeymoon trip with Empress, my wife. This is going to be fun.